This is a Mitsubishi Mirage, first up winner of the newly created microcar class, introduced to Australia Best Cars Awards for this year. The Mirage reflects the increasing demand for budget-priced entry-level models, beating rivals Nissan Micra and the Holden Barina Spark for top spot in this year's awards. The Mirage has a 1.2-litre three-cylinder petrol engine, which delivers 57 kilowatts and 100 newton metres of torque, and it's matched to a five-speed manual transmission or a CVT automatic. A few years ago, a small engine and CVT auto combination would have been considered slow and unresponsive. With the Mirage, that's not the case. Performance on initial takeoff is fine, and it has a little more low speed urge than its counterparts. Out on the open road, the Mirage easily keeps up, and it's far from being underpowered. The Mirage has a combined fuel consumption figure of just 4.6 litres per 100 k's. Our testing returned a slightly higher figure of 5.4 litres per 100 k's. And for many, that's what it's all about. Miserly fuel consumption and class leading running and repair costs, making motoring cheap and affordable. When you're driving the Mirage, you sit up high in the cabin, but that gives you really good all round vision. Just what you need in this type of car. The Mirage holds the road well, and the electric power steering light enough to make parking easier. The Mirage can be driven enthusiastically. It's no hot hatch, far from it. But the Mirage doesn't have any unsettling vices. Inside there's plenty of space and room for the driver. For the second row passengers, it's a little bit more cosy, and in the rear, you can easily carry a couple of soft bags. The rear seats fold down, they're 60-40 split folds. And although their floor height is uneven, and by class standards, the Mirage is amongst the best for space. The front seats are comfortable and supportive enough for more than just a dash to the shops. The driver's seat base is height adjustable and the steering adjustable for tilt. The back seat looks like an ironing board, but it's more comfortable than it looks. The Mirage range starts with the ES manual, priced at just $11,490, and the higher spec LS we're driving is $12,990. Add $2,000 for the CVT Auto and the price starts to climb. The Mirage is clearly built to its modest price, with its lack of top coat paint in hidden areas, basic trim materials, and a general lack of sound deadening. Yet there's nothing to suggest that it won't be thoroughly durable and reliable mechanically. It exhibits higher than usual amounts of driveline and wind noise, although these are consistent with this class of car. The Mirage LS ticks a lot of boxes for a micro car. For starters, a five year 100,000 kilometre warranty and a good list of standard features, including power mirrors, power steering, air conditioning, and Bluetooth connectivity. Add a five-star NCAP safety rating and pleasant driving dynamics, and this little Mirage could easily fry bigger fish. 